Hello everybody, it's JD with Rice Face Soapery again. You won't be seeing my face. Uh, maybe just, just to quickly say hello to you. We're going to be also making a new soap today. So, I don't know if you can see me right here. But, uh, it's been a very long day for me, so I'm going to try to make this a quick video. I always try, but you know, I, I can never do it all in 30 minutes. This is, doesn't really happen with, you know, doesn't happen within 30 minutes. So today I'm making the olive and hemp bar hot process soap. So lately you've been seeing me doing all the cold process soaps. And uh, today's been a really bad day for me. So, you know, <laughs> be easy on me and uh, we'll get through this. And uh, this is one of my favorite recipes. Um, it is, it doesn't have any scent. I am allergic to scent. And so we're going to start off with today, I'm going to talk as I, I uh, show you what I'm doing just to kind of again make it short instead of having to do a quick introduction and then, and then doing it all. Um, so I did about four oils. I have 2% beeswax um, and 23% coconut oil. 5% on the hemp oil and olive oil is 70% and it's a Bastille soap. I don't exactly know if that's the correct way of saying it so if you have a better way of letting me know how it's being said please correct me if I'm wrong. So um, there are some benefits and right now it is pretty hot. I'm gonna try to do uh, this is supposed to be um, right now I'm gonna check the temperature. I haven't set the I haven't gotten the lie yet. Right now we're looking at 170. So what I'm gonna do is turn off the crock pot. It's been on low, but I think it's already hot, and I'm just gonna keep um, keep the heat in. Uh, and I'm gonna also get the lie. Like I said, the the oils is 160 Fahrenheit, so this is going to be a hot temperature, hot process soap. And right now the lye is about 120. No, I'm sorry, it's moving right now. Hold on, let me put the lye. Probably won't be able to see it on camera, but it's about 125 Fahrenheit. So with hot process, it doesn't really matter of the temperature because it just all cooks. Um, pretty quickly anyway. We're going to try to do the saran wrap method and covering it to keep the heat in. And if you are unfamiliar with hot process and you want to learn, I highly suggest going to see Valerie's video. Uh, she's Shalebrook uh, Handcrafted Soap and uh, she's really awesome. She's great at teaching hot process. To be honest, I've looked everywhere for a good hot process video and she really demonstrates the best way of doing a hot process video. So, um, I know I'm not supposed to tell you all the benefits of what this is in here, but um, I did use with 2% uh, beeswax and this to make a harder bar and uh, this is the best deal recipe because it is 70 to 80 percent olive oil and uh, I did an oil infusion so half of it of the olive oil there's arnica, carrot oil, calendula, St. John's wort, ginger and I believe that's all I have in here so far. Uh, so, you know again I like um, herbal infusions um, I think anything that's benefit for your skin it's worth trying. So again, please do your own research. Uh, don't uh, count my word on everything that I say here. Uh, there's research all over the internet. And uh, so, you know, with beeswax, it protects your skin. It's a great barrier. And uh, Brambleberry um, Soap Queen, she does a really good video also on Bastille soap. Uh, you know, soap for babies because it's a lot more gentle. And uh, let's see, I was gonna do uh, put you could have the option to do green tea and mint tea for water, but today I was running out of time, unfortunately. But I did put aloe vera juice, so I did about four ounces of aloe vera juice, so about 112 grams. And uh, let's see, I use hemp oil because it's great, it's anti-inflammatory, 
and it encourages uh, skin growth and new cell generation and it moisturizes without clogging your pores. So I found some of that information on this uh, healthline.com and uh, I also put 2% super fat of the coconut oil so it's not so much drying to the skin because it is 23% coconut oil. Uh, it helps to also harden up the Bastille bar and uh, that's about it. You're going to see me go through this. I'm going to put sodium lactate and also um, yogurt. Uh, about two tablespoons of yogurt because this is a 36 ounce batch. I'm going to drop my sodium lactate. Sodium lactate. About two teaspoons. I don't really put a lot. I read one website where it says that if you put too much sodium lactate, it will make a brittle bar. So, again, gloves, safety. This is a really hot soap, so be extra careful um, when handling this because this can really uh, splash on you. You don't want that. Alright, I did strain it today because again, I don't anticipate anything crazy to happen with my lye water. Get some paper towel. make a video out of this because I again I was running out of time I have to pack to go to Big Bear for this Labor Day and I am like so behind right now as usual soap comes first right okay here we go stir it up a little bit it's already thickening up Unfortunately, I couldn't prop my camera. I'm not using my 6D today, Canon 6D, it's a full frame. I'm using my uh, Rebel. I think this is a Rebel 3 Ti. Or I think it's the two, version 2 or 3, I've forgotten which one, but it's also a very good camera. But hot process, I. Uh, Keep blending until it's really pudding. When I first made this soap, it was cold process, and lately I've been having issues with beeswax, and sometimes it can be temperamental. Now, temperature has a lot to do with it, and so um, also it, it you'll see it'll be partially gelled or gelled soap, and it just doesn't look the appearance just doesn't look great. And for a plain soap like this, I'd rather go and do a hot process. It eliminates all the partial gel and all that. So hi everyone, I just wanted to let you know uh, my camera just shut off and I just found the function where I, it doesn't shut off. Uh, right now, since this is a Bastille bar, it looks like the olive oil is going to take a while for any action to show. I put the saran wrap on, as you can tell right here, and uh, it's to keep it uh, warm. I have it back on low again, and I'm hoping if there's nothing that happens within 10 minutes, I timed it right now, uh, I'll come back to you within about 10 minutes. Thank you for your patience. Hi folks, I just wanted to give you an update. It's been 10 minutes. Honestly, nothing's happened yet. I don't see any volcano, which means that when the soap gets so hot that it erupts like a volcano. <laughs> so, nothing crazy like that. Um, I do see some bubbles in the side. I wish you can see that. Uh, but it looks like it's cooking. So, um, I gave it another 10 minutes and uh, I'll give you more updates as soon as I know. 
Okay, I'm back everybody. It's been about 25 minutes and uh, right now it's just bubbling to the side. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is open the saran wrap and use my, um, my whisk or just a spatula right here and mix it. So it's cooking really different than all the other soaps I have. I think it's close to Vaseline phase. That's how fast this is cooking because I have put it on high and low. Um, sometimes your saran wrap doesn't really last so right now it looks kind of like Vaseline's mashed potato. It's actually really close. I've been timing myself on the video Got to mention also, you can use a crock pot for this. I've heard you could use it, you could do it on the stove. It'll just be quick. But right now, it looks like it's actually um, close to being ready and it's been 25 minutes. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get the saran wrap, and I'm afraid it looks pretty cooked already. Uh, you start to see that it looks kind of like it's drying up really quickly and it can easily just be poured into the mold and it dries up pretty quickly after that. It's already cooked so it's gone through all the process, uh, faster than cold process. Cold process takes a long while overnight and to even heat up this fast. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get the saran wrap and I'm also going to get the uh, yogurt to give it some more uh, fluidity. And um, thanks again for... Uh, waiting for me and showing you the progress of the soap. I've got some bad news again. <laughs> What's going on with me today? Um, my yogurt froze. I put it way too close to a part in my fridge, the refrigerator where it's really cold. So um, I'm just going to put the super fat of coconut oil to give it a little bit more. I heard you could put like hot water and uh, spray it so that way it'd be more fluid. But you know what? It's a really simple soap. You can just put it in the molds and call it a day. This is just a 2% coconut oil to make sure it doesn't dry, dry your skin. So I gave it about 2%. It originally already had 3% um, in the beginning in my soap calculator uh, recipe. Yeah, this soap looks like it's ready to go. Um, what I might have to do is let it cool before I put it into the mold because it gets really hot. Right now, that I could, if I could just tell you how hot this is, this is about 188 Fahrenheit. So. Crock pot alone is really hot to handle, so be extra careful doing it this way. I've heard you can also use a glass bowl and hot oils and the hot line. Cover it up with a saran wrap. And again, Valerie really shows a really good video on that. I'm gonna let this um, <laughs> cool down. Um, while I get the mold ready, because it does get pretty sloppy. If you're not careful and use a whisk, it'll go all over the place. It'll go in, in the camera too, so I don't want to do that. So Ran Wrap is our brand. Transferring it to the mold is something else. And even if you're not sure that the and you can also do the zap test. Uh, we can do that once the soap cools. I heard you could use your tongue. And if you feel a zap, then that means a lye is still present in your soap. There's other solutions you can buy as well. Uh, but I don't really use those. I just use the old fashioned zap test to my tongue. I never used to, to be honest with you be so scared. I'm like, oh my god, what are these people doing? Like I watch videos and they're like tasting the soap and saying, oh my god, it didn't zap. And so I'm like thinking, no, oh, this shouldn't be too bad. And I've tried it several times and uh, not too bad. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna put this down somewhere, taste the soap, and I'll let you know if there is a zap test, uh, if it uh, failed or if it was successful, and uh, be right back. I'll get the molds ready. The soap is probably hardening up, so get it in there. I can already see it hardening up. hard part is pouring it. It's not a good idea to pour it because again it's hot. See how jelly it is? Just put it in there as much as you can. It's not going to look cute or anything. But practice, you know, with hot process. Once you have it down, it's, to me I think it's foolproof. You eliminate all the issues that you have with cold process. Cold process obviously looks cuter. You can make designs better. And you know the like I said, the yogurt froze, not a big deal. It's just an extra addition to keep this fluid. This is the first time I think I've used uh, flower molds or cute molds for this. Whoops. See, it's still very fluid. Just that you have to keep covering it so that way. Not much you could design with hot process. You kind of can, but not really. I'm gonna cover it up again. Gotta hurry because patience is just it's not looking good today. Chopstick! Chopstick is always a good idea. If this has any splinters, you don't want that. Again, just, you know, you can do some peaks. So that way when you cut it, it looks interesting. Kind of. Try to put little spikes, but doesn't always work. Add some dimension. There we go. This makes about four bars. This is bramble berries mold. So again, nothing crazy. I'm gonna just tap it just in case. You don't even need to spritz it with alcohol. Here you have it. Now I'm going to go with the fun molds. The flower ones. Be right back. Just wanted to make sure we're still in the camera here. And this is, again, never tried it this way before, but it doesn't hurt to try. I've seen Valerie do it. From Shalebrook. Woman's an expert, I think, on hot process. Want to thank you, Valerie, wherever you are, if you ever find this video. Go 
it does get a little tricky using molds because especially the cute ones you don't know if it's gonna fit so you just kind of have to make it fit it doesn't hurt to make a mess every now and then sides you can always shave them down right yeah i know i made more mess well, you see we're still on in focus right now uh, my worry is there's more on this one and we're going to use a different mold really hot still. Okay, and we're going to use, maybe what I'll do is use some of these for, um, what's the smallest one? Let's try this ladybug. Okay, ladybug. Oh. Thank God there was no colors on this. They look weird right now, but once they dry, they should get better. So I hope. I don't know. And let's go do some samples. More mess. And then with the leftovers in the crock pot, you can use it to actually test your soap. You can make a, like a, a soap ball even. I know, I could have totally made another mold. But no, JD had to make more of these. Hi there folks! It's JD with Rice Face Soapery and today I am bringing you the olive and hemp cutting. Uh, my apologies again. It didn't turn out the way we wanted, but this is the final um, look of the bar. Uh, it is. It turned out to be white and I hope that I um, shook the silicone enough and pretty much you know, gave it a nice uh, bang on the floor. <laughs> Uh, and hoping not to have some kind of uh, marks or you know, but you know what you can never tell with hot process and uh, You know and again, it's something to try uh, It's all white as you can tell it's kind of how I like it um, very plain Okay. Sorry that the video cut off um, I was in the middle of trying to tell you more, but I guess it kind of perfectly stopped at a point where there was no designs made anyway. Uh, and again, this is going to make about four bars. Today is about, what is it today, Thursday? So it's been about, wow, Thursday to Thursday, so it's about, it's been seven days already. Back from my trip from Big Bear, had a nice trip much needed vacation really soft bar I was gonna cut it Wednesday but didn't take a chance
Here's the finished bar. One bar right there. See how it smells. It doesn't really smell like anything. Still very soft though. Again, this was an herbal infusion, so probably some herbs that are still present in the bar. It was arnica, ginger, calendula, carrot oil, and St. John Wort. Okay, I'm gonna show you um, the flower silicones that I did and also the ladybug and the samples. And I'm now filming with my Canon 6D today, not the Rebel T3i on Thursday. So, used to that camera. Never tried this before with these molds. Okay, there we are. They are a little on the rough side, I have to tell you that. Maybe it may need a couple more days. I'm gonna try to pop out a few more, but this one right here wasn't filled. I have to clean up the bottoms. Okay, one more. Let's try a smaller one right here. Yep, they're still very sticky, so I might have to give this a couple more days. See how it's not completely formed right there? Still has that rustic appeal. I'll be back when they are a lot harder. All right, the samples are focused. So, focusing area right here <laughs> for all you camera folks. Uh, these are the rustic samples. <laughs> so again, that's how it looks like. Again, just a small cleanup. Take out the rest of that. I usually clean up that part. These are easier to remove. They have less detail to worry about. Six samples. All right, thanks again for joining me today and uh, with the making and cutting of my olive hemp uh, so far so this um, these are gonna be ready at my shop October 11th so I give it about four to six weeks to cure uh, hopefully with the beeswax help it will be a harder bar and uh, again I uh, unfortunately this one you know didn't turn out the best um, in terms of detail but you know again it's still very usable soap it's just looking cuter better than just a normal bar but some people do like uh, just a normal looking bar just like this one all right if you haven't subscribed already to my video please do so and support uh, local shops uh, here in and I'm here in Los Angeles so thank you again and have a great day
and hope to hear from you and see you again uh, to future videos uh, that I have upcoming. And uh, that's it. Thanks, folks. Bye.